In any exhibition of ancient art, what you see is not always what you get. Works of antiquity, which have been damaged over time, have been restored to a certain extent. And that was certainly the case when many of the pieces in the Louvre's collection were originally found. In many cases, the, the appendages that sort of extend beyond the sort of plane of the torso have broken off because of pressures from being buried. For many artworks here uh, in the Louvre, uh, since our collection is very uh, old, uh, we, um, we have um, objects that have been repaired in uh, ancient times, in modern times as well, and uh, conservation uh, issues here uh, are about uh, do we keep the modern parts that um, have been aided in modern times or do we not? There's a work in the Roman art from the Louvre which features the full scale statue of Emperor Trajan. Here we have a statue of Trajan that's been uh, restored in uh, modern times, I mean uh, when it was in the Borghi's collection in Italy. They found many pieces that were indeed broken and they found a head of Trajan and they found the body of Trajan. And the head does not belong to the, the body. The arm here is also an addition and a, a, a part of the, of the left arm as well. There is really no evidence uh, that the head of Trajan actually belonged to the body of Trajan. It occurs that um, actually the head and the body are of the same period. Uh, they are both genuine, even if they are not part of the same artwork in ancient times. If we think of paintings uh, in every museum in the world, they have been restored to a certain extent. If you took off all of the modern restorations or in painting, uh, there would be gaps, there would be holes, there would be losses. Uh, and obviously the paintings wouldn't look as they present themselves today. These uh, artworks, even if it's not completely Roman regular artworks, is, is quite interesting because it has a long history and many of the artworks here in the Louvre are in this uh, situation. But the Louvre, of course, because their pieces have a certain history, and 17th century or 18th century history, of having been restored, they do not today remove those modern appendages. They simply state on their label copy that the arm is, is modern or the nose is modern or uh, whatever has been added so that they're being honest about it but they don't remove it because that indeed is part of its history.